this is a young pup that came in for training and he's very very hesitant to work and that could be for several different reasons so Libby's just walking around she's completely ignoring him there'll be no voice no eye contact and this is where he will gain some confidence this is a really good progress right here for him to just get up and work on his own and what Libby was doing before was coming in and out she he was just laying there at the gate and she just walked by him and ignore him Sometimes the reason this happens, his DNA is telling him he wants to work, but then he completely shuts down. And the reason he's shutting down is because he's probably been turned out on stock, maybe got into the stock and then he got yelled out. He got um, punished for it or a hard correction for it. So then these dogs become really hard to train because if he, he starts getting more and more confidence and he's going to want to work, we've got to, and if he gets in there and wants to bite him, we've got to give him a slight correction and then he'll shut down again because he remembers what transpired before. And so he remembers all the stress he got from being yelled at, maybe a stick thrown at him, who knows. But the dogs don't lie. There's something that's holding him back from his instinct to want to work. And this is a really good day for him. We loaded the round pin with a lot more stock because it creates a lot more movement. And the movement is what is engaging him to want to work. Um, two or three head aren't going to cut it with him. Um, He's been here for a week and this is a huge, huge progress. And so what will transpire with him is a lot of this before we can ever start throwing commands, slight corrections, even rewards. We can't give him a, the reward is going to have to be Libby just walking around and letting him have the sheep. If we start saying, good boy, good boy, or it, it shuts him down too. So it takes the confidence out of him. So good job. We'll take another video soon.